Register in August for Synchronicity University and choose your own tuition rate. Hello, fabulous friends, fans, and superstars. Welcome to your horoscope for the week of August 25th, 2019. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing week it is. We have an active and fabulous guy playing out right now. And it really is weeks like this that make what I do so very rewarding. You know, we have things that happen in the sky that can reflect because it is the sky that ultimately uh, reflects. It acts as a mirror. It doesn't influence us. But yeah, sometimes those reflections are quite challenging. And when it is that I'm sitting here in front of you, I am very aware when it is that there is a celestial conversation that might be difficult for people. And I always try to navigate that with sensitivity, of course. And so that's what makes a week like this that much more special because the sky is so beautiful. The sky is so good. And this is the type of energy that is deeply transformative and uh, truly one of luck. Like really, that's the word I thought of when I looked at the sky. This is a lucky sky, a lucky break that is set to find us in at least one area of life. There is sweeping change on offer now, and it really comes down to Uranus. Uranus is the planet that is associated with insight and rebellion and revolution and epiphany. It is a planet that speaks to dramatic changes that become possible in an instant. And very often it is awareness that is the most powerful transformative influence in our lives. Uranus represents the future. And when we have supremely harmonious connections of Uranus taking place to a conglomerate of planets like it is right now, well, all of us in at least one way are leaping into the future with our whole selves and are finding sweeping benefits in many areas of life as a result. So let's talk about this conglomerate of planets. Well, it's happening in the sign of Virgo. The energy of Virgo is one uh, we normally think of as having to do with details, right? We think of it as having to do with deep analysis, but it is also the energy of Virgos that has to do with expertise. It has to do with dedication, giving your whole self to a task enough and, and seeing it through and doing it repeatedly so that the act itself becomes a type of prayer. And it is in doing something repeatedly that we are able to establish expertise. Now, expertise is distinct from something like authority. Okay, authority is recognition. It has its own understanding. However, expertise is being good. And there is integrity in that. There is self-possession in that. Now you add to this another layer of understanding of this sacred energy of Virgo because every sign of the zodiac has its sacred understanding and sacred manifestations. But with Virgo, there's also this understanding of service, of giving, of knowing that when it is that we are present, that that in and of itself is a type of service that we give, whether it is to humanity or to an individual person, or again, giving ourselves to a task at hand and wholly being able to be present and at the same time being willing to understand from a variety of angles. Well, this is where service transforms into that much deeper a compassion and that much deeper effectiveness as well. And so all of us in at least one area of life are being asked to be more effective. We are asked to be present and to dedicate ourselves fully. And in so doing, we may find huge gains that are made now, leaps forward into a more empowered, more present, more useful future. So what are the planets that are being highlighted now? Well, it starts at the beginning of the week with Venus. Right around Monday is when Venus will speak in supreme harmony with Uranus, followed 
just after that by Mars. Mars speaking in supreme harmony with Uranus as well. Now, both of these planets are associated with desire, right? In their own way. It is Venus that is goddess of love and pleasure. And it is Venus that invites us to enjoy the beautiful things that life has to offer. Well, the opportunity to do just that, to experience more love, to experience more pleasure, can come very much by surprise, can serve as an epiphany and awareness that changes everything for us, that allows us to understand ourselves more deeply, our truth more deeply, to the point where it may feel like a, a mini revolution has taken place for us. And Mars, Mars has to do with passion and desire and focused energy. It has to do with taking action from a place of truth, from a place of self-knowledge, and from a place of pure intention, a sense of wholeness ultimately acted forward with precision, makes for the most effective outcomes. Well, when it is that Mars speaks to Uranus in this way, we are asked to know ourselves enough to know that there is at least one thing that we are good at because like the energy of Virgo says, we've done it so often. We've proven to ourselves that we are good at it. And so in a surprise moment, in a quick set of circumstances, we may get the opportunity to demonstrate it to demonstrate it to ourselves and to others. But it is with Mars that we go after what we want. The attraction is more about what we are attracted to, what we are pursuing. With Uranus, very likely there'll be some surprise moments of attraction that propel us into action. And so sometimes, yes, it is a person, right? A person awakens us. They awaken our sense of self and our own feelings. But sometimes it is more about being a spiritual warrior, understanding what it is that is worth fighting for and finding surprise opportunities to have that right balance of healthy detachment, but also engagement that then leads to true effectiveness. Now, as we navigate in the middle of the week, Mercury will change signs coming home to the sign of Virgo. This is going to allow Mercury to operate at its best. Whenever it is that Mercury is in one of its home signs, its other home sign is Gemini, it is able to bring forward its best qualities in that expression. So if it is that you've read my book, Astrology Realized, you know that I talk about the difference between a planet in its day and in its night. The ancients understood that the planets have a variety of expression. It is the planets that aren't just limited to one way of being, one way of coming forward, but rather they had a, a large sense of being able to come forward in our lives in more outwardly ways, what they considered and what they defined more outwardly ways and other more inwardly ways. It is the day aspect of a planet that allows it to be more forthcoming more obvious, more on the surface, whereas a planet in its night allows it to bring forward its deeper qualities. And that's what we see with Mercury in Virgo. The qualities of Mercury in its day is one of outward communication and spontaneity and expression, right? It has to do with being willing to engage life and have lots of different ideas and thoughts and conversations and tasks on the go. But it is Mercury in its night that becomes deeply analytical, able to analyze and understand from a variety of angles and able to dive that much deeper into whether it is a moment, whether it is a task, or whether it is an endeavor. I know a lot of academics who are truly exceptional because they have strong Virgo energy in their chart. Normally, when you think about something like academics, you think about air energy, right? Because that is about communication and writing and teaching as well. But it is actually Virgo that allows the kind of deep, analysis and research that actually can influence ideas and allow ideas to come forward that have the potential to change the world. 
it was uh, when I was in university, I remember we had these core modules that we had to do and they were called Ideas That Changed the World, 101, 201, 202, 301, and so on. And it was fascinating to consider how just about anything that we can think of, any concept, any philosophy, any way of government even, uh, any way that we interact with each other, so much of it is rooted in thought rooted in ideas that were expressed and communicated in a way that they could be received. And it is ideas that, in many ways, do change the world. They are powerfully influential. Well, how is it that we can show that we've actually thought about a thing, that an idea isn't just something that's sort of coming out of nowhere and just a, a blunt expression, but rather is rooted in something deeper. Well, it is Mercury in the sign of Virgo that actually allows us to do that. It allows us to understand more deeply what it is that we think, where it is that our ideas are being put together and how they're being put together. And it is ultimately in the presentation with the nuance that we are able to reach people that much more deeply. And yes, ideas can, coming from that place of authenticity, change the world. As we navigate forward right around Thursday or Friday, depending on where you are on the planet, we are going to welcome in a new moon. Now, this is the second new moon of the month, and that in and of itself is a rare phenomenon. We began this month on a new moon. We are ending the month on a new moon as well. But the characteristic of this new moon is very different than the one we had at the start of the month. The one at the start of the month, I remember talking to you about it. It was in a fire sign. It didn't have that type of supremely harmonious energy that we are going to see now. And I feel in many ways, for some people, it is going to be this new moon that serves as a type of reward, a shift of energy and a shift of opportunity, delightful opportunities that can come out of nowhere but feel like a lucky break. It is going to be this new moon that will speak in supreme harmony with Uranus and happening close in the sky with all these planets I've mentioned so far, with Venus, with Mars, and with Mercury as well. So we have this concentrated energy with this heightened sense of emotion that the new moon will bring. Now it is gonna be the next day that the sun will perfect its connection with Uranus. And so what this tells me is that Uranian energy, very dominant at this time. We are going to feel it very deeply and all of us are going to feel a sense of breakthrough, of being leapt into a more harmonious future thanks to this new moon and the new opportunities that present itself to us. Remember, the greatest success that can happen under a Virgo new moon, especially a new moon speaking with Uranus this way, well, it has to do with being able to demonstrate that you know what you're doing, being able to express your deep understanding and the nuanced understanding of an issue or endeavor or prospect from a variety of angles and in so doing and being able to demonstrate that we know what we are doing will be able to make the most gains. But of course with Uranus, it really is about also bringing an element of vision into the picture as well. Being able to see ahead, being able to anticipate and being able to demonstrate visionary qualities. Now what success is uniquely for you is truly a matter of self-definition. It is something deeply personal for all of us. For some people, it is an outward thing, right? It is like sort of getting a promotion or getting a new job. We've got great cosmic support for feeling like that job energy, work energy, aligning with prosperity, very strong at this time. However, for other people, success may be different. It may have to do more with being able to honor your own creativity, being able to do what you want more often. Uh, For others still, it could be that this is an energy that asks for personal change, that asks for honesty on a deeper level. And from there, knowing that that in and of itself, by changing the way you perceive yourself and your starting point, that in and of itself can't help 
but change circumstances for you going forward. Well, how this new moon is experienced will be deeply personal to each of us. I did speak about this in the monthly horoscopes as well. So you might want to have a look at that. And of course, for superstars, I did a deep dive in to what all this week means as well. And you can catch that on my website, NadiaShaw.com. But having said that, yeah, this is powerful energy. This is emotional energy. This is energy that says, know that you are good at what you do and be willing to put your heart on your sleeve. Be willing to put yourself out there. And in so doing, even greater opportunity can come than anything that you could have planned for yourself. Uranus is a planet that has an association with mass media. It has an association with being able to reach large groups of people. And when it is that Uranus is connecting harmoniously, uh, supremely harmoniously in this case, with a personal planet, and these planets are personal, well, it gives us the opportunity in at least one area of life to step up and reach larger groups of people than we have before. Now, there are some who believe that Uranus is also uh, the purveyor of the internet, and there is some validity in that understanding. However, Uranus represents the big, the next, right? It represents that sense of what it is that takes us to the next level. As the internet becomes more and more a part of our everyday lives for more and more people out there, uh, it becomes more and more the providence of Mercury. Now, I actually think it's incredible that we manifested the internet as uh, a human consciousness. Uh, it represents, it is a reflection of our deep understanding of our interconnection to each other. This is what the internet serves as a mirror for, but it is also an amplification. It is an amplification of our own energy and whatever our energy is, we are able to find people who align with that. And it allows us on one level, at least on an energetic or mind level, on a mercurial level, on a uranium level even, to be less isolated because we have that sense of interconnection that the internet makes possible. However, there are ways of connecting, of communicating. There are technologies right now that maybe someone out there, maybe someone watching this is just dreaming about, is just starting to conceptualize. Maybe there is some revolutionary new technology that is in the works. Those are the things that are more strongly aligned with the Uranian energy, more strongly aligned with the symbolism that Uranus represents. However, yeah, part of this might be part of reaching the masses that could happen in the online sphere and lots of other ways as well. And where it is that you are hoping to connect with others and connect with a lot of others, Uranus is gonna help a whole lot with that as well. Where it is that your expertise is something that you desire to have known more broadly by others. Well, it is going to be this new moon that helps us to tap into this energy to make that possible now. What I love about this week for us, there is so much here, isn't there? But really, with all these planets now reaching out and speaking with Uranus, it is actually Uranus that is speaking to them. Because the ancients believed that the further out a planet, the more slower moving a planet, the more powerful it was. It is ultimately the faster moving, closer to the earth planets that are receiving the energy of the slower moving, more outer planet. And in receiving the energy, they are changed as a result. In this case, supremely, harmoniously changed. And it is this change that allows us to connect with truth. Uranus is a symbol of authenticity, of being, unabashedly and unapologetically yourself of owning your truth, owning who you are. With Uranus now, we are being asked to be more honest and authentic in the expression of heart, in the expression of our drive, in the expression of mind. We're being asked to 
allow our emotions to serve as a power so that we can be a catalyst of change in the lives of ourselves and the lives of others. And in so doing, we may actually find ourselves, see ourselves differently, be identified more authentically. And that truly is the greatest freedom of all. Well, thank you so much for watching. What do you love about this week? Let me know in the comments below. I love reading you guys. And of course, as I mentioned, I don't normally mention in the middle of the horoscope, but this time I did. I hope that's okay. Superstar. There is a fabulous service that I offer on my website called the Superstar Space. And it is in the Superstar Space that you get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, including this week as well, unlimited access to special horoscopes, and so much more. All of this in the Superstar Space. I look forward to meeting you there. Synchronicity University is right around the corner. If it is that you want to choose your own tuition rate, make sure that you sign up this week because it is the last week that you'll be able to choose your own tuition rate. After that, the normal price will take into effect of $35 each class. But if you sign up right now, you can attend Synchronicity University, the autumn session for as low as $5 a class. So I look forward to meeting you in class. I think we're gonna have so much fun. Of course, we're gonna learn a lot as well. Um, and I appreciate each and every one of my students. Thank you to the hundreds of students out there who have trusted me as part of their astrological journey. We are going to have five classes plus a bonus class. Uh, the two classes leading up to Halloween are gonna be astrological magic related. And that is by special request. You guys really liked astrological magic in summer school. So now we're gonna build on that and go even deeper with understanding astrological magic. There's a class on Jupiter through the signs and houses, a class on Pluto through the signs and houses so that you can understand Jupiter in your chart, understand Pluto in your chart, that much more deeply. And we are also going to have a class on electional astrology, which is the astrology of choosing the exact right date for an endeavor for a beginning. So yes, please sign up. Links are in the description below. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun learning astrology and hopefully empower each other and encourage each other forward to learn that much more. Now, I also have a really big anniversary sale coming up. If you've been watching me for a while, you know, September 1st is my anniversary. Uh, that is when I launched into astrology full time 13 years ago. Even though astrology and studying astrology has been a part of my life for like 24 years, I was doing the calculation. Like 24 years ago um, is when I was given an astrology book by my family and said, here, I think you're gonna be good at this. Um, and look what, look what that created. Look what happened from there, right? Uh, and so here I am, thanks to those early moments, but also full-time astrology. I launched uh, my website and announced to the universe and to the world that this is what I was doing on September 1st, 2006 at midnight in Toronto. And so every year on September 1st at midnight, Eastern Standard Time, I launch a 24 hour sale. It is really big discounts that I offer on all kinds of things, special offers as well. This year, I will have a very big announcement that I'm really looking forward to as well. It will be in the newsletter. And in fact, the discounts that I offer, big discounts at that are only available through the newsletter. And so, if you wanna sign up to the newsletter, just go to the homepage on my website, scroll down, I'll try to show you that somewhere here. Let's scroll right down and there you will see um, right next to the box for uh, Facebook and Instagram, which you could also like me there and follow me there, but there is the newsletter, sign up. And so if you sign up there, that would be amazing. You'll be sure to get uh, the newsletter for those discounts. 
If you are a superstar, you're already getting newsletters and you will have your own special newsletter uh, with discounts just for superstars as well. And I hope that you love it. I hope that you enjoy what it is that I do have to offer and that you're able uh, to take advantage of some of the special offers that are going to be there in the newsletter. And as I said, I have a very special announcement. I'm hoping if everything continues to go on schedule as it looks like it is, thankfully, but I am going to have a special announcement that I've really been looking forward to sharing for a while. Um, and it is going to be September 1st that I'm actually going to be in Baltimore. So this coming weekend, I'm going to be over Labor Day weekend in Baltimore as part of the NCGR conference. Uh, I will be there with world renowned astrologers, but September 1st, midnight EST, I'll try to be online. I'll try to be somewhere, whether on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram. I'll try to be somewhere so that I can celebrate with you guys and uh, present to you what it is that I'm really looking forward to presenting to you. And maybe I'll get a chance to actually present it in next week's video scope that you are going to see here on YouTube. And I do want to say that I'm looking forward to meeting friends and fans live in real time in Baltimore and I always appreciate especially right now approaching an anniversary um, just how special it is to be able to have this trust to be able to have this connection with you as my audience it really means so much to me um, it is you my audience my friends fans my superstars my students you all are part of my spiritual journey and for that, I thank you. And for having me as some part of your journey, that means so much to me as well. Thank you. And before I go, let me also share with you, of course, I have some very big announcements that I'm also going to have at September 1st. Like I said, I'll be online somewhere. I've got lots of new events that I will be announcing. But one event that I have been talking about is the January 2020 cruise event that I have uh, been signed up for, for a while now. And it is this cruise event that will be taking place under the exact conjunction of Saturn and Pluto. I've already been looking ahead at, you know, to create the special horoscopes for 2020, right? So I'm just starting to look at that. That's gonna be a little bit longer before I'm able to post that, but it's coming. But it is the special horoscopes for 2020 uh, that had me beginning to start to examine uh, more deeply what is happening in the sky. And, um, you know, thankfully we end this year on, on kind of a hopeful and high note, which I think is beautiful. But it is going to be uh, about a week into 2020 in January that we start to welcome in some energies that are a little bit more intense. And it is for this reason that this cruise is taking place. This cruise is called Love, Joy, Hope, and Transformation, a transformational journey. And it is about helping us get out of our comfort zone and be in a safe space, be together, be with each other, and to be able to facilitate a transformative experience in ourselves and in others as well. But it's more than that. Like for me, the thing that really made me want to do this and agree to do this is because I feel like we can be a loving, hopeful, and transformative influence for others because we know that there are some challenging things happening in the sky. We will find a way not only to navigate it, but also to serve as guides to help other people to navigate what might be challenging for some as well. And so I feel very hopeful about this journey. I do believe that in the process of this journey, being in the middle of the ocean, uh, stopping in other countries, in Mexico, in the Bahamas, I do believe that along the way and along the journey, not only will we find our own transformation, but also we will find the power and the clarity to be a force of transformation, of healthy transformation, of loving transformation in the lives of others and in the lives of the people in our sphere of influence. And so if you feel karmically aligned with this experience, if it feels like something that you would like to do, I would invite you to go to the link in the description below. And it is there that you'll be able to learn that much more. Feel free to use the contact form on my website. Ask any questions that you may have. We're happy to answer them. 
And it is in coming together, the group, whoever the group is, whoever it is that they are meant to be, it is in us coming together uh, that I hope we create a truly memorable experience that stays with us long after that week is over. And so, yes, I'm doing a cruise. I'm a part of a cruise experience. Link in the descriptions below, and I look forward to meeting you on board. And once again, thank you. I can't believe it, 13 years, I'm just around the corner. If I remember correctly, I looked at the solar return chart uh, for my business for this coming uh, year, and it looked really good, but truly it has been incredible. It's been an incredible 13 years with you guys, and I look forward to the next 13 as well. And I hope you absolutely love what is offered as part of the anniversary sale. Thank you so much for watching. It'll be a great week. Enjoy.